In this video, we're going to look at Pythagoras questions, where Pythagoras is in disguise. It's, you're not going to be faced with a right angle triangle from the very outset, so you're going to have to maybe add lines and uh, isolate a right angle triangle. You may be faced with a composite shape, or maybe just a different shape, and you may not associate Pythagoras with the question unless you are aware that you can just add lines and isolate a right angle triangle. So, let's look at an example. The diagram that we see on the screen here shows the end view of a garden shed. You're given the, in the diagram, you're given the base and the front height and the back height of the shed. And you're asked to find the length of the sloping roof, which is the sloping side here. Now, how can we use Pythagoras to solve this? Well, what you need to do is add a line. And if we add a line horizontally across like that, that is going to form a right angle triangle that we can then do something with. Now, looking at our diagram, if we take that right angle triangle at the top, on top of the rectangle, and if we just isolate it on its own and remove it, uh, what we need to do next is identify what we know. Do we know its base? Well, the base is going to be the same as the base of the diagram, the base of the rectangle. Do we know its height? Well, the height is just going to be the difference between the back height and the front height. So we can say that the base is 2 meters and that the height is 1.1 meters. And then using Pythagoras' theorem, we can find the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is, remember, the side opposite the right angle. And we say that in this case, c squared is going to be 1.1 squared plus 2 squared. You work that out to be 5.21. And square rooting gives you your hypotenuse, which to one decimal place is 2.3 meters. Now, let's look at an another example. This time we've got a flagpole secured to the ground by two guy ropes. And you're told that the ropes are the same length, each 10 meters long. And you're told that a groundsman marks the distance between the two anchor points where these ropes are fixed to the ground. And the groundsman finds that they're six meters apart. And the question asks you for the height of the flagpole. So, again, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to have to isolate a right-angled triangle. Now, this time, we don't have to draw any lines because the flagpole itself breaks up this isosceles triangle into two right-angled triangles. So all we need to do is just to isolate the right-angled triangle. And as we... So in the question, the ropes are each 10 meters long. And if the distance between the fixing points was 6, well, the distance between one fixing point and the base is going to be 3 meters. Using Pythagoras, what are we looking for? The hypotenuse is across from the right angle, so we're not looking for the hypotenuse. We're looking for a shorter side. S for shorter side, S for subtract. So our starting line is going to involve a subtraction. H squared is 10 squared minus 3 squared. You work that out to be 81, square rooted, and you find that the height is 9 meters. So you should always be on the lookout for right angle triangles hidden within other shapes. Sometimes they may be shapes which are relatively ordinary, common, such as an isosceles triangle, or as we see here, a rhombus, or you may be looking at a composite shape. So all you need to do is add lines, and lo and behold, what you are faced with are right angle triangles that you can then do something with. Pythagoras' theorem only ever works with right angle triangles. That is all it applies to. And if you can somehow get a right angle triangle within your diagram, then you know that you can definitely use Pythagoras' theorem. Some of the questions you may be asked to find the perimeter of a shape, and you may not think that it's a Pythagoras question, but by adding the lines, say, for example, in a rhombus, you will be able to do that. Same is true for the other shapes as well. So I hope that that is of use.